Hey guys, Swapboy here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines. So since last time when we upgraded like a bunch of the city, we are now actually making a good profit. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, now you guys are mentioning that I could have done the sort of make buildings historical setting and then upgraded them and then they would have all stayed looking the same which the reason i didn't do that is because i didn't know that's how that worked i knew it would keep the buildings looking the same but i assumed it meant i couldn't upgrade them or they wouldn't upgrade but apparently that's not how that works anyway uh <laughs> we haven't done that so and you know what i don't really mind like none of these like look particularly like fancy or super nice or anything so it's, i think it still works for most of this area we're not going to upgrade them again so like the level they're at i'm pretty happy with um, so I'm not too worried about that. Also, we seem to be having some garbage issues. Yeah, okay. So I might actually look into doing a little bit more garbage processing. Where are we processing? In random locations all over the place. Which is actually pretty good. Didn't we have... I thought we did a... Oh, we did do a bunch over there, but I guess that's not enough. Hmm. Let's get a bunch of... Man, we need a lot of garbage processing. I might get some out over this way, too. Uh, hmm. I just don't want to put it right near, like, forestry and that. Uh, maybe not over there. Maybe more out over... Let me have a look. Let me get this again. Well, we seem to be having issues here and like up over here. So I think we need some stuff further back out this way. So that's a town. This is farming. So again, I don't really want to burn garbage here. <laughs> like right by the farms. I don't know. It doesn't... To me, that just doesn't seem right. Let's get a little road. Uh, out over this way. Uh, yeah, that'll do. So this is going to go out here, and then this is basically just going to be a road, and I'll have a couple of garbage recycling plants or something on it. I don't know. That'll do. We just need to sort of get that. Oh, actually, did I, did I lower the budget? I should probably check that, because I don't remember. I, I know we've been having budget issues forever. So, uh, no, that's fine. I guess, you know what? Because we are making plus 84,000. We can probably bring some of our budgets back up now. Um, although, I don't think the major. I don't know how consistent that income is. Which is also an easier way to sort of just bring these up instead of like having to precisely slide them. I guess I don't need to do the nighttime budgets though because uh, we never have nighttime. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to do this. Now this is at 50% and that was 56,000. Does that mean we're going to go up to 100,000 in cost? Because if that's the case, I am not, I'm not going to be able to afford that. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> well, we'll keep an eye on our income. We've got a lot of train stuff going on. Uh, speaking of which, with the trains and the sort of overclogging of trains, recently there was a mod released that I think that, yeah, I think that's going to cost me too much money. We're, we're getting close to not making money again. Uh, there was a mod released between, or maybe it was, it might have just been after the last part, or maybe during the last part, or something like that. Um, that it, it basically is a mod that sort of delays cargo trains, and I think potentially trucks and ships and that. Uh, it just delays them so they can fill up with more cargo than, you know... Oh, actually, no, let's keep that low, because I think we just had unlimited power. Yeah, we got so much power. Um, yeah, it's a mod that basically makes a cargo train wait longer before it leaves. Where, where are we? Where are some trains? Now, so hopefully what we should be seeing is trains that have more cargo on them, and thus should be having less trains spawn around the place, and thus should have less trains on the tracks, which is what I'm looking at right now. I'm not seeing a huge amount of influx of train like they don't seem to be clogging up the entire track as per usual which is a good sign now the biggest issue we had was over here over this way with all the trains coming out over here this might still be leftovers from before yeah so essentially we shouldn't get the seven percents anymore um and i'm hoping that should start clearing out soon as as it all starts running through like i'm not seeing any trains uh clogging this way there's some still going this way as you can see some of these are a bit better but ideally oh that's still not oh mm. But yeah, that might need to be a little longer, just so we can fit a whole train in there, because it seemed like we couldn't quite fit a whole train. Yeah, that's no good. Alright, so I'm going to extend that, because if, if we can fit a whole train in there, at least other trains can continue passing. And I'm hoping as time goes on, that issue will become, you know, less of an issue, is the ideal scenario anyway. Alright, so that's going to go in here. Yep, okay. And then that can go to that height. And then that should... No, actually, the thing we got to be careful of is this... Does, I might have made it too long now. Because now it means... Let's have a look. So this train will go there. It might, means another train might start turning in. Which, again, is also something we don't want. So... Ideally, yeah, we want it, like, here. It needs to be, like, perfect. <laughs> the perfect length. Okay, so what if I just go... So I think I went there before. What if we go a little bit further? Like that. Because then hopefully another train doesn't turn in there and it sort of waits here instead. Got this train with... Oh, look, 250 people on board. That's pretty good. 
I'm not seeing any turn in there at the moment either, so I guess that's also good. This game, it just loves to oversend. Ah, oh, you weren't supposed to do that, although it looks like it was sort of glitching out from the last time anyway. Um, I wonder if we can do any junction stuff on here. Because can't you do like give way or like, oh no, I think you could do it in here in the vanilla game sort of setup. Although that doesn't appear to be piling up, which is a good sign, because we don't want it to pile up. But now the stop sign probably means that they just have to stop and then continue if it's going forward. Oh, well, see, that's not good, because then it just... Oh, okay. Like, why is this one sit... What, what is... I don't know. You know what? Let's just leave it. I should just leave that. Get out of there. Uh, we're not making a huge amount of money, considering we're making none. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's sort of better than before. Let's, so, also, the main issue that we were having was education. Because our population is very uneducated. But that seems to be slowly catching up now uh, with all of this, which is really, really good news for us. And what about traffic-wise? How are we doing? 78%. Actually pretty good. Uh, so let's continue. Let's get back over to this <laughs> really sad park, which I, I actually quite like. Like, this whole this whole city is supposed to be disgusting and dirty. Um, it's not supposed to be good. Actually, are we making money off this park? Because parks, you can actually make a bunch of money off of if you really go go for them. Um, should we, because we're right by the edge of the map, I guess, should we just, like, fill it out? Might as well do something. We got a lot of industrial demand, actually. Do I think maybe we could do an industrial area back here? It's not really near anything, except for garbage and that, so, which I'm fine with. I mean, like, maybe we should just, like, fill it out, right? So I'm gonna get this to come through here. And, yeah, as some of you guys have been saying as well, we're sort of nearing the end of this series, and I think I, I said that last time too, didn't I? That I was like, we're kind of near the end of this. And I, I do want to start finishing this up and wrapping up loose ends that we have left over, such as we were going to build up here. I don't know that we will, like, there might be some things that we just don't do, but for the most part, like, this area around here looks like it just needs a little bit of finishing off, because it's, like, right by the edge of the map. We might as well see what we can do with it. Um, and see if we can get it to look how we sort of want it to. Now, this area is supposed to have these sort of straight roads that aren't necessarily in line or parallel, so... Don't be too upset by that. That's just how this area has always been. Not ideal is basically how this area has been <laughs> the entire time. It's just like this whole sort of this whole area of the city is just like this. Um, all right, I don't know why I've got zoning everywhere either. Go away. It's really annoying. Uh, okay, so we need to get some pipes. Uh, oh, we need some more sewage treatment too, actually. Uh, for the most part, though, the city's pretty good. We're so yeah, we're sort of teetering on the edge of making money and not making money. Which is good enough for me. That's kind of where we've always been, so <laughs> nothing new there. Uh, that's going good. All right, so let's have a look at the pollution. No, not noise pollution. I don't care about that. Uh, so wait, where do people live? Is this people living? Okay, so we don't want to go too close to that. I'm thinking maybe if we go from this road this way, we should be okay. So if we do something like this. I'm just going to pause for a second. Uh, and then this. And then I actually probably don't want it on the main road. So I might just do offices. So if we do all that as like industrial and I'm thinking a lot of this is just like offices because makes sense and we've got more educated people now too so that'll be good and I think we should have a subway station nearby ish somewhere not exactly sure where and then we get some commercial through here too and that should fulfill uh, a, fair, a fair amount of demand uh, at the moment that we have going on and then we can sort of fill up the uh, the residential as well okay so I think we have where is the subway? Subway's there. And there's like... I wonder, maybe we, we should probably change this subway station into one. Now that we can. Because previously I hadn't downloaded this asset. We haven't used it in the city, but I used it in one of the challenges recently. So I might even... Because we've got a lot of people... Because there's also a bus stop here somewhere. So maybe we should use this one rather than... Because if I move... Oh, actually, you know what? I guess what we could do, we could put it on the corner here. Move the bus stop to around the corner instead of being on that main road. Yeah, that might be better, actually. All right, so let me pause. Uh, I'm going to remove that stop. And then also that one. Just so that sort of we take it back one stop and we don't ruin any of the line stuff. I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then these two are going to share the same subway station. Which will go... Should be all right. We just have to move that line, that tunnel even more now. Which is okay. And remove this bit. Pretty much all the way back to there, and then this is going to move back a little bit too. That should be okay, and then we can just join these up, and then hopefully this this transfer will just be a lot 
a lot easier and a lot better too. So that's going to go there. And that's going to come through here. Okay. 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 Lovely. And then this one can come down. These subway, I think, I think quite a few people use them. But I've never really been happy with the subways in this area. So I don't know if we'll even change them a bit more after this. Uh, just because it's like, this one is a big sort of, it just does like a, I guess a U. Or a big arc. Uh, and then th this one's okay, because it sort of runs north and south, or whatever direction, you know, up and down. This one, I don't really like this purple one. But it's been kind of working for our uses, so I guess we'll probably roll with it for now. Uh, I wonder if they should have another stop in the middle here somewhere. Because it almost seems like we're going quite a distance to get over to the next one. Uh, you know, actually, we've got a bus line in between. No, never mind. That's probably why I didn't do it, because we have a bus line that goes right there. Alright, so that's going to go to there. And then purple, give me purple, to there, and then, nope, to there, okay. And then you, it's gonna move up to here, beautiful. Now I'll be upset for a bit, but it's okay guys, calm down, we got another one, there we go. Alright, so then, all we did was just move where that was, and then we want to go to the bus and move this stop, just round to this corner, just so it's not on that road anymore. Sorry guys, we're all going to have to move to this stop here instead, which should now be pretty popular because we've got a bunch of lines going through it. We've got two, the two different subway lines and then also the bus stop just here now somewhere, wherever that is. Uh, that should be quite good. Alright, so this is pretty much, that's pretty much taking care of all the demand that we had. <laughs> and now it's all gone. Uh, we've got some empty spaces here too, which I might fill in. I wonder if we can just fill it in with some of this. Plop, no. Growable. High density. Let's see what we got. Get this guy in. I don't know. Sure. There you go. Boom. Go. Or not. Do you want to grow? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Just took a minute. <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I turned that animation back on. We used to have that off, but I, I miss them, the buildings growing like that. It looks nice, you know? So I'm going to guess that people use this for... I don't actually know. We didn't really check, but I assume people are using it. Uh, we do have a pretty much dead zone in the middle here, though. So I'm wondering maybe what we should have done, because we've got a green line here. Maybe the purple line should have been more like middle, and then we could have done another one out here. I don't know, there's just, I don't think there's that many people here though. Like we do have 110,000 people. How many people live in this zone? It's probably a good question. Underhill Hill, what a stupid name. 6,500 people. Magnolia Heights, 12,000 people. Uh, you know what, it's, it's quite a decent amount of the population, 4,500. 14,000 in this one, Jesus. So just in this area, we have 14,000. Okay. Maybe we could maybe we could support another line. Though, with that many people, we surprisingly don't have that much traffic. I guess because my public transport is just so good. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, I guess, wait, how did we do these subway subs? We got one, oh, that's right. These two are, uh, yeah, I didn't use the multi-platform. They just, oh my God. We might need more trains. On that line. Hang on. Uh, that's something we have not checked in a while is <laughs> how many people are using our line. No, that's trams. I don't care about those. Go away. How many people are using these? So this line here, 1387, but I think we might have hit peak capacity because as we come around here, we've got 400 people, 600, 200. Uh, yeah, we might need a few more trains. We've got 14. Let's get another, let's get another four because they told 180 each. That might be good. Let's have a look at the other ones. The other ones are probably fine, because this one, they only got 417 people. You know, that's fine. No worries. Metro Line 3, got 1,000. Very well spaced. And actually, I think that's probably the right number of trains, too. This one over here, also good. I think the other one was the, the Metro Line 4 seemed to be absolutely losing its mind. Uh, this one probably has too many trains, but I'll leave it. Yeah, this one, Metro Line 4, so where does this one go? This, so this is the pink line. This one is just nuts. Oh, I guess it's like the whole city, that's why. Because it's like, I'm gonna guess that most people are commuting because all of this is, there's a lot of population here that they all commute probably somewhere along here to work. Or they're even catching it up to like the train or to get to the high speed rail or something like that. Oh, you know what, I, I bet a lot of them get off here, let's see. So there's a train here. Is it going to get off here? Let's see. Oh, you know what? I lied. Never mind. I thought maybe they'll get up there, get on the brown train, and then they get onto the high-speed rail. Although, it turns out that that's not the case. Oh, look at this. I love, I lo you know, I love seeing this many people, like, sort of walk through the city. I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do we have enough high-speed trains for this? Hang on. 
There's just so many. Oh, I don't know that we do. Um, I don't know that we do. Let's have a look. 139 people already on the train. How many people are at this platform? Uh, there's 1,100 at that platform. And this, wait, which platform is this? Okay, that's this one. Hang on. Which is the one that has 1,100 people? 900. This, yeah, this one. Okay, I thought so. Because <laughs> that did look pretty busy. Uh, we might need some more trains. Hmm. Let's go another three. We'll go up to seven. Because we originally had more, just, but that's because we had a huge influx, and it seemed like that that was kind of like a one-off thing. All right, let's have a look. So, I don't know why... Was there a reason I didn't connect these? I don't know. If there was, I don't know what it was. But I guess I just won't connect them. I'm going to do that. We're going to sort of see if we can fill in this area here. Uh, do I want to go to the other side of the rail? I guess probably should do, right? Let's, um, let's actually elevate this. Well, I mean, it's already elevated, but let's turn it into a bridge instead. Uh, so we can get under it. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, then we can get this guy over here. On the ground, preferably. Nice. Let's do that. And then this will just be, like, probably houses and that, I guess? Uh, I might even do... I might do some high... Uh, do I want to do high density here? I mean, I guess we could do. You know what? I'm going to do high density on this road there. And then a little bit through here, too. But that will probably be it. Then the rest can be, like, houses. Oh, okay. I lied. <laughs> it just turned into more high density. Hang on. I, I want to get rid of that. <laughs> Go away. Then that will be houses. Yeah. And then through here as well. I don't know. I just don't want to shove tall buildings back there. And then probably... Oh, this can be houses here, too. And then up through this section, we could even just do some commercial. Because it's right by the train station. So that would be nice. And then we can do some commercial down this bit of the road. Should be good as well. Little shops here and there. And then I think the rest of this area can just be residential. Oh, hang on. Not all of that. Because half of that goes into the water. So let's avoid that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that will sort of fill in a lot of that. And then I might even just get a little crossing through there somewhere. I don't know. It feels like these roads need more crossings. Especially with the amount of like shops and stuff through here. That one's probably fine. There's a crossing there. Probably use one in the middle there. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a huge amount of people like crossing the road in the middle, so it should probably be fine. These, because they, they, whenever we do one of these crossings, they add in traffic lights for it, which we could also turn off actually. Uh, but I quite like them. So if someone wants to cross here, they can use the traffic lights. Otherwise, they, they'll just never change, which is good. So they only change if they need to, which is nice. Uh, but the rest of that's looking pretty good. Like it's not super busy out here either, in terms of like traffic or anything. So I think we'll be okay. It might be, uh, so it might be, uh, no, I guess we don't need to. So it might be good to get a highway connection, but I guess we don't need to. There's one, there is one right here by the airport. I guess the other way to get to it is go, going down and then coming up here, but it, it works. Oh, actually, I think you have to go to there. It works. Uh, still making money, which is nice. And they should be filling in this area. I guess we should probably fill in all this too. Um, I kind of want to change this road back to what it was. Which, how was it done? I guess it was just like this, wasn't it? Like, well, like that. Because we don't really need it set up like this anymore. That was only when we had an insane amount of traffic driving down here. Now it's really annoying me that it looks dumb. <laughs> now it just really annoys me. I was like, I kind of wish it didn't look like that. Uh, so I'm going to do this. So I can get the road in the right spot. Yeah. And then we can just bring that in closer. So then this, I guess, can just go here, right? Oh. Auto save. Yeah. And then this will come to here. Hang on. Go away. The grid to there. And then I guess, what is it? Two, probably? And then just do that. And that should be fine. Okay, so then we're just going to make sure that we set up this as well. Uh, so then this needs to give... Oh, it was already doing that. Alright, give way. And then that, I think that's all we needed to do. Alright. Yeah, just because it, it didn't need to be like that anymore. And those icons are really annoying me. I don't even know that we really need this exchange anymore. Especially since we built the new... Actually, how's this going out over here, by the way? Yeah, quite nice. It's quite lively. It's good. Um, especially since we... Yeah, there's not many trains there. Especially since we built the new one. Which, by the way, there's less trains thanks to that mod. Oh my god, that's so much better. So much better. Like, there's still a bunch of trains you can see going around the place, but... 80%, 27%, 13. That one's not so good. Sorry, don't look at that one. But, we're not getting overwhelmed by trains that are just clogging up the entire network anymore. So that mod has been a 
bloody game changer. And I guess also, yeah, because we built these other cargo hubs too, didn't we? Which is quite good. 12%. Well, could have waited for more cargo on that one. 7% <laughs> on that one. Well, look, as long as they're not getting clogged, that's good. And I'm happy with that. Alright, any general issues that we have? There's all these things. What are these? Oh, cemeteries. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. We could empty them, but we'll just leave them. They're fine. This area's always been pretty bad as well. With this traffic trying to get through it. Um... Not really sure what we could even do, to be honest. Like, I already did, you can see I already did a bunch of stuff here to try and get stuff to flow a little nicer. Like, we have a left-hand turn that just flows directly through. If you're going forward here, you actually can't turn right anywhere, so if you're going right, you have to actually turn here and go around that way. So it gets any right-hand turns out of there. Uh, if I go left, I go that way. I don't know, it's, it's still, it's still just... It's just busy. It's a busy area. I think it, it works, though. Do I have, um... I don't know if I have... Do we have advanced AI on? Oh, we do. So we have... You know what? I wonder what happens if we turn off advanced vehicle AI. I want to know how bad the traffic gets. Because, wait, what are we at? We are at 77%, which is good. But that might be being helped a lot by the game. You know what? I think I might put a clinic in here. Just because these people are constantly dying. Well, not, they're not, I don't think they're dying, but they're constantly getting sick. And sending ambulances out from, like, a mile away has never been useful. So I might put one there, because then they can just go to, to these guys directly. Because we basically have one hospital in the entire city, and it's this. Which works well when everyone's healthy, but when these guys, for example, they're probably getting a lot of noise pollution from the cargo station right there. When we have issues like that, it might be better to just get a little clinic around in the area. So I might put that there. That would probably destroy some stuff, but whatever. So that only take care of the guys in the area. Because I think that those are pretty much the only issues I think that we have. I think everywhere else is like fine. We have crime here apparently. <laughs> apparently we have crime in these two specific spots. It's interesting. Not quite sure why. I guess there's 25 police cars in use. So not, we don't have enough. Oh, hello. You've got some, um, not enough goods to sell issues. We apparently want more commercial, though. Uh, do we want to do any more over here? You know what? This area here is really annoying me that it's been empty for so long. I'm just going to put a road... Can we get a road under this, actually? Oh, we easily can. Why haven't I done that? Uh, we probably should have a road under here, so I'm going to do that. I guess we'll just get the tree line road again. Uh, ground. Oh, hang on. There we go. So if we just go here... This can easily get straight underneath. Maybe to there-ish? Yeah, get rid of that bit, go away. And then this goes, oop. To there, or should we? Okay, hang on, get rid of that pathway. That pathway is very useful, so I will put it back. Um, where is the... I don't want to destroy that stuff. But I'm trying to get in line. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nice. Okay, so this, yeah, this pathway is really useful because it basically allowed people to get from here to there without, I think, bef especially before this road, they had to walk all the way, like, around like this to get through. <laughs> so bad. Um, okay, here. Oh. Right. Hang on. Hang on. You know what, maybe I'll just drag it all the way down. There you go, they still just walk all the way through. Okay, so then that allows us to have a road here. Those trees don't clip through the road, which is super nice, which means we can very easily just plonk in some high density commercial like we're right here it's like perfect and then it allows another way to get through to this side instead of having to go through the main road although going through the main road doesn't seem to be an issue anyway so that's fine now how's my high-speed rail doing is that eased up a little bit we got a whole bunch of trains on here we've still got 300 people waiting there but that train should get it we might be able to do with one less train i'm gonna go down to six because numbers i'm seeing we could probably do with six Although sometimes it's just kind of crazy. Like, how many people just got off this? Do we just get a bunch of people, or is it, like, not that many? I'm not seeing anyone, so I feel like no one got off that ship. Or does it take longer? No. We have another ship there, 38. Nah, there's just not that many people on them. I think most people enter the city by train. Or car. Or plane. Or everything. Okay. So there's also more commercial demand. I think we might fill in this little area. This is kind of like the episode where we just like fill in spaces, you know? Let's bring it in a little bit more to about, hang on, 
Turn off snapping real quick. And grid and everything. Go there. Now, I don't know if I want to join it right there. I think this might go... Oh, there. We might need to do some custom building placement through this area just because I don't think that these are going to be particularly inspiring. Uh, especially this area. We might have to do something custom there, which is fine. Uh, so we'll do that. So that, that will fill in quite nicely, I think. Because um, this is going to be like, I guess, half industrial, half commercial sort of area, which is fine. Uh, let's have a look through here then. We could probably get a nice build. Well, not, I say nice, I guess pretty loosely. So if I put this in, for example, what am I doing? Oh, hang on. I don't know. I kind of have to wait for it, everything to build up here to see what that looks like. So we still got zoning there, which is good. Like something here, for example, we need to also put there. This could be like a little, little park or something. Like that. Like nothing, nothing too special. And then let's get a little pathway as well, you know, just like get this to come around. I don't know. It just sort of fills in that space a little bit. No one will use it, but it looks like there's something going on there instead of nothing. Okay, so that sort of fills that in, which is quite nice. Um, so I guess really what we need to do in terms of finishing this city and calling it a day is... I kind of still want to... I mean, we don't need to fill in every little area, but there's just a few little places that I think we need to kind of finish up. I think for the most part, this is all looking pretty good. This whole area of the city is looking pretty good. It's just like this bit here seems like, because we've already built the key, so it seems like we should probably do something there. Oh, and you guys actually wanted to see a, uh, a cable car that goes up here, which... I don't know where it would go from, though. Because ideally you'd want it to come from the tourist area here. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can do that. We can try it. Uh, where is cable car? This one. Which is, is this the end one, or is this a... Uh... No, that's the middle one. Okay. No, no, no. This one. I'm wondering if we can actually get this to work. This really might need to be further this way. Just because, like, we've got this, like, perfect open section here. If we could get the cable car to go up through that, it'd be kind of cool, right? Let's see. Okay, let me turn on no collision, because that's going to make our life a lot easier. Then I go straight slope. So it'd basically have to go... Well, we could keep it low until it gets to this point. And then go up quite steep. So if we did something like that, for example. Obviously that one's a little in the way. And then that hits the train station. Slight issue. Um, we could maybe move this building. And even these. So if we do... Okay, let's move this over there. That might be a better spot. Because that gives us a bit more room. Did I get rid of all of it? I think so. And sort of more in line with it if we put it here. Okay, so we're going to go here. That should be pretty good. Uh, and then... This will be great. This will be really, really good. I, I can't see it going wrong. If we go a straight line... Which I don't think it really works. I think we kind of need to... If we can sort of pivot a little bit. Okay, turn off snapping and all that, please. We'll go like here, for example. Is that... It's a little lower. It has, the cable car is definitely going to hit the station there. Because I kind of want to, like, go alongside the road here. Because that's kind of where we need to be. Maybe we need to go here. Go up. However high. Maybe, like, something like this, right? So that should be okay. Then we go across. It's going to... So we're basically doing a little bit of bobbing and weaving to start off with. Uh... I don't know if that's a... The thing is, because where this pillar goes is kind of how it... Like, we need it to avoid buildings. I mean, this one I could actually maybe go on top of the building. Like, if we go up a little... Oh, it's going into a Y now. Look at that. If we go up to, like, here. Because then it looks like it's just, you know, supported off the top of that building, which is fine. I think. And then we're going to go through the city area, right? Maybe, like, this to this building. Or maybe even further. Can we go further? We can go further. Oh, we can just go... You know what? We could even just go straight up here. Okay, where am I? Okay, I don't, I don't want another pillar in the middle of the city. So we'll go there. So that goes all the way across. And then... Hang on, where are we going to end this? The end game is here. Don't, hashtag don't spoil the end game. <laughs> God, that was a good movie though. Am I right? 
<laughs> I want to watch it again. Um, anyway, uh, let's get a another bit of this from... Okay, I need snapping again. There we go. Now, if we do a straight slope, is this going to go through the ground? Probably. So we need to go to here, really, first. And then, I guess if we go to this point... That looks okay. And then if we just go straight in. Wait, how is it in line with that thing? I don't know. But it goes like that. Okay, that's fine. And then it comes down across the city. And then it has a pillar through that building. Comes up over here. Okay, that should work. Let's see. I don't know if anyone's going to use it. But it should work. Like, is that weird to go, like, over the buildings in the street? I mean, it's... I guess it's weird, but it's cool, you know? So it comes up, goes over... And some coming down as well. I wonder if anyone will use it. I really hope they do, because it's cool. It's a cool idea. Okay, people are, just, people are just using it to park. So there's that. I think there might be people getting on it now. It looks like there's people sort of walking into it. I don't know if they're walking into it or walking to their car. <laughs> okay, so there's zero people on that. Let's see. So then it go in, and then hopefully people get on. Uh, anyone? Or does that have to go around first? Oh, so it goes around now. Ah, there we go. 12 people. Yeah! There you go. 12 people get on it, and away it goes. So if we actually... Hang on, pause. Let me get in it. Yeah, here we go. I guess we just sit above it. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool idea. To have the cable car. And then go over the city. It's a nice way to sort of link the tourist area, though, for sure. After the castle. You get, a, you get a nice view over the whole, like, sort of this downtownish area, and then we come over this way, you get a view of all the, I guess, technically the ocean, although the game doesn't render that far. <laughs> it doesn't exist off the edge of the map. And we come down this way, you get a little steep, this is, that's probably the steepest bit of the entire cable car, is that, that bit right there. It goes, vunk. But even that looks fine. Yeah, that looks so good. Alright, cool. I like it. Um, alright, so, beyond that, I guess we just gotta do a little bit more building here and there, and I think maybe what we should do... Uh, let me know in the comments down below, but I think we should just do some live streams of this city, just to sort of... Because a lot of it's just kind of building work, just build, building and zoning, really. Nothing... I don't think there's any... I don't really have any special plans for any more infrastructure. Like, we've kind of done... Like, this is kind of the last thing that we really needed to do, just to help out with all the trains and that. And even that, that didn't really help. It's mostly the mod that helped us out there. <laughs> um, and then the rest of this is good. We're making money. Detroit's in a good place. We never really did the garbage thing that I said I was going to do. Yeah, yeah, I built the road and I never put garbage there. <laughs> Oops. How did that happen? I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Uh, that's what I meant to do. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, I guess power? They don't... I think they power... Well, they power themselves and they start burning garbage. So we don't really need to power it, but I will. Uh, well, I guess because they'll power the... They'll add power to the grid, so that'll be good. Alright, so that'll help. Um, alright, let me know in the comments down below, but we'll be back next time, probably, well, potentially, not probably, I won't say probably, potentially with a time lapse from a live stream that we do. Um, and if you want to follow me on Twitch, that is linked down below, if you just click on my website link, it links through there. And you can follow me on Twitch, so you can be notified, oh, actually, let's have a look at the traffic. 70%, okay, so we go down to 70% without Traffic Manager, without the advanced AI, and to be honest, like we... Is there a lot of people coming up here and then just go straight down again? Uh, to be honest? It doesn't look... Wait. Wait a second. They're going down and back. Okay, that's an issue. Are they doing the same thing? Yeah. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. What What is going on here? They're, they're going down the bottom just to come back onto it. And I'm wondering... No, oh, I actually... I don't... Oh, what if they're entering the highway and then there's no- is there any way to change lanes? Oh, there is. But they're just not. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why they're doing- oh, so there's just trees through that road. Well, that's something to look at. They're basically exiting and then joining back on right away. And are they, are they doing the same thing here? I don't know if they- can they do it here? Let's see. They're all waiting to get the move. So this is something fun. Okay, go. Yep, they all seem to exit and then want to come back on straight away, and that's just that's what's causing traffic, nothing else. Okay, well that's something for me to fix. All right, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.